Hello everyone, thanks for joining me again. Today I want to talk about the pros and cons of doing a cash out refinance. So first I want to explain what that is and how it's different than a home equity line of credit. So for with a HELOC or a home equity line of credit, you're keeping your first mortgage but then you're getting a lender to provide you with an equity line for you know, a few thousand dollars more, maybe in some instances tens of thousands of dollars more, where it's a line that you can draw against, okay? And um, in that situation, it's usually not a fixed rate, it's usually an adjustable, and you usually only tap into it when you need it, and you can pay it off as you see fit. With a cash out refinance, you're refinancing your first mortgage, and then you're, you're refinancing it for a higher amount, for the additional amount that you would like to cash out. So for example, if you have a mortgage balance of 100,000 and you needed 50,000 for whatever purpose, you would then just get a new mortgage for 150 and after your closing costs are covered during the mortgage process, you'd walk away with the difference and your new mortgage would be 150, making one payment on the entire thing. So it wouldn't be a line of credit. So that's the difference between the two. Now for cash out refinances, there are a lot of reasons why you might want to do a cash out refinance but the primary reasons are as follows one debt consolidation you might have a credit card bills student loans different things going on and you want to just consolidate it all into one payment uh, maybe a lower interest payment so for that reason you might do a cash out refinance uh, refinancing your first mortgage taking care of all the other debt that you might have packaging it all into one payment into one loan in a new mortgage payment the other reason would be potentially you're looking to remodel or rehab your house so uh, if you needed say twenty five thousand dollars or fifty thousand or a hundred thousand to make some major repairs kitchens baths whatever it is you can do that uh, using a cash out refinance uh, one other reason why people might do a cash out refi is to pay for college tuition so your kids may be heading out to college and you think you might want to um, uh, take the money out there uh, to pay for it versus have them get into some very expensive student loans at a much, much higher interest rate. You might be considering that for the reason to do the cash out refinance. And another popular reason would be uh, for investment purposes. You know, hopefully not something that's risky because you're risking the equity in your home but if you have some safe investments that would yield a greater return than, um, than what your interest rate would be on your mortgage, then that would be a reason to do it. So I wanna talk now about the pros and cons of doing a cash out refinance. Let's start with the cons. The first thing is, is you could potentially be going from a, to a higher rate. So for example, if your rate right now is 4% and the, the cash out refinance rate that you're being offered in the near term would be say 5%, that would mean that you're taking your current mortgage balance of 4%, moving it all to five, plus the additional money you'd like to borrow. So that could be one, one con or one negative of doing a cash out refi. Uh, closing costs. So you're going to incur closing costs all over again when you refinance. Yes, you can roll it in you can roll it all into the loan so that way you're not really paying it out of pocket but then you are financing those closing costs over the period of your loan um, you'll have less equity in your home so that's a negative so for example if you've got uh, 50 percent equity in your home and then you take out your you do the cash out refinance you take out all this extra money now you own less equity you own you own less of your home than you did before so that's a, that's a negative. And then finally, uh, you're just farther away, you're now farther away from paying off your home. So let's say you had a 30 year fixed mortgage and you're 10 years into it and with 20 years remaining and now you do a cash out refi, you're basically resetting the mortgage again for another 30 years. So let's talk about the pros, the benefits of a cash out refinance. The first thing is, is you could be going to a lower rate so let's say your rate is 4% and you can get a cash out refi at 3.5. Again, I'm sitting here at the end of 2021 talking about rates. When you watch this, the rates could be very different, but the same uh, theory holds true. 
you could be going to a lower rate. So in theory, it's a benefit. And then in fact, if the rate is that much lower and you're still cashing out additional money and, and making it a larger loan balance, your payment might be very, very similar or the same, even though you're taking the extra money out. Um, the, the other benefit is, is if you're borrowing the money, uh, the cash out refi is to be used to remodel your house, you're potentially or hopefully adding more value to your home than the money you're borrowing. So let's say you're borrowing an additional $30,000 with the cash out uh, refi and you're spending that on smartly on certain things in your house that could return real value in the market hopefully you're going to double that maybe you you would have raised the value of your home 60,000 by spending 30,000 on repairs and remodel and updates and upgrades um, the other thing is is another pro or benefit of doing a cash out refi is if you are you doing it to consolidate debt you're likely consolidating high interest debt with higher payments and you're gonna either a pay those things down faster than you would if you were just making the monthly minimum say on credit cards for example or student or student loans uh, you're gonna probably lower your total monthly payments so if you've got all these little payments for all these different uh, uh, things that you have debt on your your total now your total payment now one payment on your mortgage is likely going to be less than all those payments combined that you had uh, before you did the cash out refi and then again it's something I mentioned earlier if you are cashing out to do investments then hopefully you're earning a higher rate of return on the investments than you are paying on the interest for that mortgage so if you're doing a cash out refinance you're taking an extra fifty thousand out and let's say that's at three percent or four percent Hopefully the investments are earning you five, six percent or more than that. So that way you are uh, going to be ahead of the game at the end. So that way that you're using the cheap interest today to borrow against, uh, to use as a as an investment to earn more than your rate of return. So hopefully that makes sense to you. If you're looking for a cash out refinance and don't know where to start, you want to get a quote on it. Not sure if you qualify. Uh, you can definitely contact us. We'll help you to determine whether what you can do and what your rate would be. Just follow uh, uh, the link in the description below or in the first pinned comment. You can go to dreamhomefinancing.com and just complete the uh, quote form there for refinance. I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, just please leave it in the description below and in the uh, comments below, and I'll get right back to you. Thank you, and I hope you have a great day.